Here you go. Thank you. Oh, uh, can we get a bit of that ramekin with the uh, Burmese sauce, please? Do you mean Bernays? No, a uh, Burmese sauce, thank you. Like sauce from Burma? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, we don't have that. No one does. Also, it's called Myanmar now. Nice stash, though. <laughs> what? She complimented me. <laughs> I'm looking at your moustache. That was no compliment. Plus, you called her ma'am. Is ma'am no good? Ma'am's no good. You don't like the stash? It's indecent. The only thing that's indecent is the $25 you just spent on that breakfast. Excuse me, this breakfast was a tofu scramble with coconut bacon? Coconut bacon? That's not a thing. That's two different things that's been Frankenstein together. Uh, what, like your shoes? I was in a rush. I left the wrong shoe in my locker at the gym. Uh, can I ask you a favour? Certainly not. Look, I've left my wallet at home. If you could just pick up lunch this time, I'll transfer you the money later. It or... seems like the tables have turned. I hold the cards now. Yeah, okay. I'm just going to rescind that request straight Morgan, away. Morgan, I grant your request for a favour. Today, I am your hero. Thank you. All I ask in return is that you let me kick you in the shin at a time of my choosing. What? No, I, I'll pay you back later. You could, just... It could happen now, it could happen later. All that matters is that you know you'll get kicked. I do not agree to these terms. Those are absolutely... <laughs> you fair and friendly man. Thank you, the deal is on. Oh, rats. No, 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 no! Oh, I know what those are. Those are the desperate swats and pats of a man who forgot his wallet. I think I left it in my shoe when I went to the gym last yeah, night. Now, see, this is why I always say, never, ever exercise. What are you so happy about? Neither of us have any money. We're both screwed. On the contrary, my dear boy, we had an agreement that you would inherit my debt, which was legally sealed, upon the shin kick you just dealt me. Ipso facto, this is a you problem. Well, you'll have to wait here while I drove home to get my wallet. I will not be your collateral. You think they're going to believe the old let me go home and get my wallet trick? You may as well be pulling a dine and dash. Hey, that's not a bad idea. We could leg it. Do a runner. Sit down, man. Is that who you are? No, you're a man who's going to be here again, same time next week, making up fake sources so the waitress will have to engage you in conversation. I'm not hearing any suggestions. Why don't you just find someone here who can give you the money? In here? Yeah, or on the street, anywhere. It doesn't matter. Just go up to them and ask them for the money. You want me to panhandle? No. There's no dignity in that. I want you to rob someone, Michael. Oh, I just don't see myself as the type of person who could rob somebody. Think about it, man. Do you want to be the guy who pulled a dine and dash on a small local business? Or do you want to tell your grandkids that you rose to the occasion and robbed someone on the street and you paid your dang bill? I'm going to be the noble robber. And that's... Why, well, I'm proud to call you my friend. Now, obviously, I can't help you with the robbing because I'm half Italian and we already have such a bad criminal image. What with the Sopranos and all that? You're half Italian, but a complete bloody coward. I'll do this on my own. After, I take a nervous wee. Hey, uh, quick tip. Try to use the neutralist language you can. Can I have your wallet versus give me your wallet? The difference might seem subtle, but it can keep you out of jail, where all your wees will be nervous. Unfoot me, sir! Whoa, what's your problem? Is this your first time? No, I do this seven times a day. You're the one that's breaking bathroom etiquette. Oh, sorry, I didn't realise I was dealing with a pro. Well, you are! Well, I'm not paying you. Well, I... Were you going to? No, I don't pay. Well, what do you do, dine and dash? I don't think we're talking about the same thing. Well, what are we talking about, then? Well, I'm talking about hooking up in the cleanest bathroom store we can find. Yeah, I think we're definitely misunderstanding something here. Oh, I'm sorry, but you shouldn't go around giving people the sign. What sign? Your left shoelace hanging low like that. Everyone knows it's the universal sign for gay bathroom hookups. And the moustache. There's no way that can be a thing. And neither is coconut bacon. You're a weird man. Also, your penis is still out. <laughs> can I please have $45? Ah! Oh! Please, can I have some money, sir? Nope. Excuse me, sir, are you okay? Uh, no, I, uh, uh, uh yes, actually, uh, uh, give me all your money, all the money in your purse, ma'am. Excuse me? Is ma'am okay? I just asked for some money. Uh, mate, are you trying to mug us? Hey, I didn't say mug, you said mug. Hold on, are you trying to rob us or panhandle us? That's for the, the courts to decide. Please just give me your money. Well, you uh, said please. Well, that's panhandling. I'm not a panhandler, give me your damn wallets. Uh, you want money, get a job. I've got a job. Panhandling is not a job. Do you see a pan? Oi, stop that thief! 
He just did a dine and dash, damn it. Hey, weren't you with him? What, me? Oh no, I was just uh, uh, an innocent panhandler. Nah, you're the bloke with the odd shoes and the massage. You blokes came together. Nah, he was robbing us. He was also accosting people in the bathroom. Oh, I can't be having any of that. We're gonna have to figure out a way for you to pay this bill. Uh, uh, something like a... Uh... What are you doing? Not like that. Do I look like a bloke with his left shoelace untied? <sighs> nah, what I got planned for you is much more undignified. Hey, dish pig. Found it on the table four. Your driver's license looks very different without that mustache. Way less cool. What's all that stuff on it? Guess someone covered it in Burmese sauce. <laughs>